Hello friends, earlier we have learned about spherical mirrors, now we will learn about lenses. So let's start working with a convex mirror. There are simple basics that you need to learn that will help you all out the ray diagram. One, the light ray parallel to principal axis which is coming from infinite distance will always converge to focal length or focus point. When the light ray will pass through the center of lens, it will pass as it is. It will not deflect, it will not converge, it will pass as it is. And these two basics will help you throughout the ray diagram. So keeping these two basics in mind, let's start discussing different cases of convex lens. Case 1, when object is at infinity. So when object is at infinity, its light rays will be parallel to principal axis. So, all the light rays will converge to focus point and the image will be very small. Case 2, when object is away from 2f. Now here 2f is double of focal length. So when object is away from 2f, similarly ray parallel to principal axis, it converges to the focus point passing through the focus point and other line passing through the center of lens both line converges in between focus and 2f on the other side. So image forms inverted small and in between f and 2f. Case 3 when object is at 2f again repeating the same thing one line parallel to principal axis which uh, passes through the focus point another line passing through the center of lens those two lines converges at 2f on the other side. Here image is equal and inverted. Case 4 when object is in between 2f and f. Again repeating the same ray order the rays converge away from the so 2f on the other side of the lens and the image is inverted and enlarged. Case 5 when object is at f focus. Now this is exactly inverse of the first case when object is at infinite distance. Now here object is at focus and the image will be at infinite distance. Case 6 when object is between f and lens. Now in this case the light rays will not converge but they will diverge. So when light rays will diverge we have to trace them back to find the image. So in this case image is not real it is virtual and the image forms behind the object and it is stretched out and it is straight not inverted.